Look, if no one buys that shit, basically, <laughs> if no one buys any of this stuff, I've got new t-shirts for the rest of my life. I mean, that's how I see it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. Alright, you guys. What is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are sitting here in my apartment once again. And uh, as you can see by the title, it's a pretty exciting day. It's a, it's a momentous day, but it's also a necessary day because this is the last task that I need to do until the website can be officially launched. Okay, so I had a photo shoot done a couple of weeks ago. The photos are great. They're looking, you know, not absolutely 100% perfect, but definitely, you know, I, I got a professional to do it. I don't regret that. It cost me 500 bucks to get the photos done. I don't regret it. I could have done it for free with my equipment at home, but it just would not have worked out the same. So uh, I'm really happy with the photos, but what happens now is the website builder needs the final stock take numbers. So the last thing I want, the last thing I want is to put everything on the website, say, yep, it's open, all good, and then someone comes along, orders something, and I can't supply it because I've put in the wrong numbers. Now, I could trust my manufacturers that they've given me exactly what I ordered, all the different sizes, colors, everything like that, but it's, you know, that's, that's not me. Um, I'm not gonna trust a manufacturer like that, especially not when they're sending me hundreds and hundreds of the same thing. So with that said, today's mission is to count everything. Once I'm done, I'm gonna come back and tell you guys exactly how many we've got, of what, in what color, and what size. So anyone who really is seriously considering buying something, this is a bit of a public service announcement, just to let you guys know exactly what we've got. And you know, I can, I can safely say that any income I receive, or any income Major Keepers X receives, over this launch, you know, over the first month, will be instantly injected back into the business. Either restocking items that have sold out, or possibly, uh, you know, going, taking that next, st next step and, and meeting with a clothing manufacturer myself who I already have lined up in China um, and I actually already have 12 additional garments. The samples have been made, everything's ready to go, I just need the income, I just need the money. Okay, so if Major Key Physiques does go well, I have a plan in place already to expand the range um, over the next 12 months. So, you know, fingers crossed, Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I just, you know, the, the stuff that I've got so far is basic, but I, I believe that, you know, a business is, is built on return customers, okay? It's not built on one-time customers. So with this first launch, we have basic t-shirts, basic singlets, basic, um, you know, leggings, all great quality, but they are basic. You know, there's no crazy designs, no crazy colors, in my opinion, um, but, you know, that's, that's all to come, I guess. And you, you've got to take small steps first. You've got to take baby steps, man. And, and I'll tell you what, in the first couple of months that I started building this business, back in February of last year, from February to May, I probably spent, I'm not even going to lie, 10 grand on sample products, on developing things, on getting things, you know, made in Alice Springs locally. Um, it was a complete waste of money. I could have gone through that period not having spent a cent and still got what we've got right now. So, you know, I've made mistakes. I started taking adult steps before the baby steps and um, what, all I can say is that, you know, there was a point there in probably May or June that I really needed to just check myself and just rein it all back in and be like, right, okay, you know, look at your budget. How much money have you actually got to spend? You've already spent 10 grand, okay? What have you got left? I've already spent 10 of it, I don't even have anything to show for it. You know, that was, that was the point that I was at. And so, mentally, that was a huge shift, but it was a necessary shift. And you know, without making those mistakes early on, we wouldn't be here today. So I'm really happy to tell you guys that today is the last task. Once I've counted this stuff, the website will be built, and uh, Bob's your uncle, as they say. Stay tuned to the Instagram page. I will be doing a countdown on there for the seven days out from the launch. So, uh, you know, stay tuned and stay tuned to the YouTube channel. I will be doing something, something special, definitely something special when we do launch, possibly a live stream, possibly a giveaway, 
Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you'd like, you know, what, what I should do. Uh, but we are in the business of money making so that we can continue to grow this business. You know, and anyone that is involved at this early stage, you know, I, I, I'm so excited. I'm excited for you, I'm excited for us because it is such an early stage. I mean, we haven't even sold one product yet. And you're here with me. I've got over 100,000 subscribers. You know, not all of you are supporting me you know, 100%, but I know some of you are. Some of you really are behind me in this brand and you want to see it grow. You want to see it, you know, succeed. And I want to say thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. I'm really proud. I, you know, I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't proud about what I have achieved so far, but it's only the start, man. It is only the start. <sighs> so with that being said, I'd better get counting, and I'll see you in a bit. Nick Minnett. Okay. All right, everybody. You still here? You still with me? That's the, uh, that's the green screen behind me. What you can see here, and I don't know how many of you saw that previous video uh, giving you an update of, of how things were going in cans, but basically, Basically, this is my lounge room, which I've converted into a storeroom. So we have shaker cups, we've got socks, we have workout accessories, we have t-shirts, we've got tank tops, and we have leggings. So I've done my calculations. I have counted every single thing. Don't get me started on that. And uh, before I go, I'm just going to let you guys know how many we've got, like I said because this video is the, uh, the first ever Major Key Physique stop take, which I've just done, and I feel good about it. So, I've actually decided to change things up slightly, and basically, basically, what I'm gonna do is, whatever I've counted, I'm gonna reduce it by two, okay? So what that means is that regardless of whether I counted right or not, I'm going to have a point of difference of two. And uh, is it called the point of difference? I'm going to have a, um, a uh, what, what do they call it? Margin of error? Margin of error of two. So I'm going to allow myself that. And basically, if I've got 150 shirts, I've actually counted 148. They're actually 145. So all of the t-shirts, I'm going to bring down to 145 per color. The sizes have been split into 20 small, 40 large, no, what is it? 20 small, 40 large, no, 20 small, 40 medium, 40 large, 35 extra large, 10 double XL, and 5 triple XL. Okay, so the 5 that I'm going to be taking off, I'm going to be taking off of the extra larges. So extra large will actually be brought down to 30. Okay, so we're going to have 145 of each t-shirt, 145 of each singlet. They're going to be split 20 small, 40 medium, 40 large, 30 extra large, 10 extra extra large, and 5 extra 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 large. Okay, and I will say that extra 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 large is big. Okay, it's big. You're going to have to be 300 pounds to fill that out, definitely. But, uh, you know, the fabric's amazing quality. I mean, I do have a bit of a stain on this top. It's pissing me off. I think it's sweat because it's kind of humid in here. Um, but, you know, the quality is great. The, uh, the fit is fantastic. The t-shirt I have designed myself. I've literally designed the entire shape, everything about it. The fabric blend. Um, and the shape and the way that the sleeve, you know, sits over the bicep. The way that this shoulder piece actually hangs over the shoulder is my dream t-shirt it really is I see this fit and I love it because what you can do you can have the you can have the t-shirt over your bicep but you can also you know roll it up a bit if you do like a bit of a tighter a tighter feeling t-shirt and the reason that the time that I do roll it up is in the gym you know when I'm training training arms or, or something like that and I've got a nice pump you know at times I do like covering my my arm and covering my body in the gym but at other times you know I'm like fuck it I'm gonna get it out so I roll it up and uh, you know it's, it's, it's a nice tighter sort of t-shirt. You've, you've got plenty of room in the torso, that's what I've wanted and uh, I guess that's a final sales pitch <laughs> on my t-shirts but we've got plenty of other equipment, plenty of other stuff. You know what guys, I'm going to call it a day here, I'm going to stop this video here and the next video that comes out 
I'm going to show you guys the entire range of Major Key Physiques products in detail. Okay, we're going to look at colors, we're going to look at shape, size, I'm going to explain all of the workout accessories, how they work, what you'd use them for, etc. Because I, I, I believe that's necessary. So some of you guys will be seeing these workout accessories like, you know, lifting straps or wrist straps and you know you may have stepped foot in the gym before but you may not know exactly how these work and every single workout accessory that I've decided to create is one that you know I believe in personally I believe that every person that goes to the gym should have at least one of each of these accessories to assist them in working out and make it more efficient easier easier on the hands easier on the grip um, it just helps, it, it, it enhances your training. All of these workout accessories enhance your training and there's nothing crazy about them. They're all just material. It's material. You either put them around your wrists, around your knees, around your elbows, or on your, on your hands. And that's that. So, here we are, nearly there. Today was the first stock take and uh, I haven't even told you the numbers. <laughs> so, okay, so we've got officially 150 of each t-shirt 150 of each color split over the sizes that i said but we're going to bring it down to 145. it's the same with the singlets we've got 20 small 40 medium 40 large we've got 35 extra large we're going to bring it down to 30. we've got 10 extra extra large and five extra 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 large oh my god my brain is swimming right now ladies leggings now these will not fit you guys they have a high waisted uh, fit which looks fantastic on ladies, but they definitely don't suit guys. So guys don't buy these for yourself but By all means buy them for your girlfriend if you need something to buy girls Either buy them an oversized t-shirt that they can wear to bed or buy them a pair of leggings. Okay? That would be oh, sorry. There is one other specific Piece of equipment for girls although they are unisex and they are the lifting gloves so any girl that goes to the gym who lifts weights free weights, machines, doesn't matter what they do, if they lift weights and they aren't using a pair of gloves, well, they'll probably end up with calluses like I've got. And no girl wants that. So with all that being said, the numbers for the leggings, it was 40 small, 50 medium, 40 large, was it? Next minute. Sorry, 40 small, 50 medium, 40 large and 20 extra large and that's it I'll see you in the next video to tell you guys exactly what we've got to run through all of the equipment all of the t-shirts all of the sizes all of the colors in depth so you guys know exactly what you're gonna get and I can't wait to do it you know once again thank you for all your support it definitely doesn't go unnoticed today it is an exciting day uh, I'm just continuing to bring you guys along for the ride because I'm not, I'm not on my own. I definitely don't feel like I'm on my own with this, you know. I feel like I'm sharing this journey with my YouTube channel and with my YouTube subscribers. And as I mentioned before, if you're here at this point, you know, if you're here in these early stages, just know that you're a part of something, man. You really are a part of something. You're a part of something that... Who knows where it's going to end up? Who fucking knows, man? Who knows? Like, in three years' time, I'll still be making YouTube videos. You can count on that. Regardless of how Major Key Physiques does, I'm still going to be wearing it. Look, if no one buys that shit, basically, <laughs> if no one buys any of this stuff, I've got new t-shirts for the rest of my life. I mean, that's how I see it, you know? It, it, there's never going to be a huge amount of disappointment for me. You know, I'm, I'm always sort of trying to be optimistic. At the end of the day, I've got a brand and I can work on it. You know, all a brand needs is one product or one person or one professional sportsman to rock their shit or to possibly produce like a shoe or like a, a t-shirt or a pair of shorts that's got that, that player or that person's you know, signature name on there. Possibly give them a fee, you know, give them a, a share of, of every sale but use their name and their likeness to really get that brand out there. And, and one brand that I do often refer to and often think back to is, is Riderwear. You know, Riderwear is a gym-based brand. They're an Australian-based brand. And somewhere along the line, they got in contact with Kai Green. 
they made those shoes, the D-Max. I don't know if you know them, they look like boxing shoes. They're a gym shoe. They were made with Kai Green through Riderwear. And, you know, that, that partnership just blossomed. And we all saw it. You know, we all saw the guys walking around in these D-Max, Riderwear D-Max in the, in the gym. And that was how Riderwear really got well known. And so on top of that, they've got all their, sh all their you know, shorts and leggings and t-shirts and accessories and all sorts of stuff, you know. I feel like that was the turning point for Rider Wear and I suppose that is what I would, would be looking for. You know, I'd be looking for someone to come on board, believe in the brand, want to rock it, have a decent social media following and we go from there. It's going to be worth it for the person that comes on board. It's definitely going to be worth it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to cheap out. You know, this is, this is a brand, this is a, this is a quality brand and, and that's all I've got to say at this point. That's all I've got to say. I could keep going forever. <laughs> it's this stuff. I swear it's this fucking stuff. Coffee. It just gets me going, man. Gets me going. And I love it. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Nick Minute. Guys, I've just realized I, uh, I made a crucial mistake in the video. I didn't tell you the exact numbers for every product. I just told you the numbers for the t-shirts and the singlets. So right now, before I go, before I leave you, I will tell you the exact numbers for every single product we will be selling. Because I believe it's important. You guys deserve to know. Okay, so here we go. Tank top. We've got three colors, black on white, white on black, and gray on gray. We have 20 small, 40 medium, 40 large, 35 XL, 10 XXL, and 5 XXXL. Oversized T, we have six colors. We've got uh, black on white, white on black, gray on gray, white on pink, white on red, and red on white. Once again, we've got 20 smalls, 40 mediums, 40 larges, 35 extra large, 10 XXL, and 5 XXXL. Then we go on to the leggings, which we have 40 size small, 50 size medium, 40 size large, and 20 size XL. Now XL are big, okay? They're for girls, but they are quite big. And what, what happens with the leggings is that as you go up in size, the length of the leg slightly increases. So, you know, for a woman who is on the bigger size but is quite short, I believe an XL will, will fit around the middle and around the legs, but the leg length may be a bit long. So it might be up to you to possibly get that changed or, you know, size accordingly. With that being said, crew socks. We've got a black on white and a white on black, and my arm is getting sore as a motherfucker. This camera is so damn heavy. It's so heavy. It's not, it's not ideal for vlogging, but... Okay, so crew socks. We have a black on white and a white on black. Uh, they come in three sizes. We've got a small, medium, or large. Now small, I have sized at size 5 to 8 US. Uh, medium, I've sized from size 8 to 11. And large, I've sized from size 11 to 14. God, that sized from size. That was a bit of a tongue twister. We've got small, which is 5 to 8. Medium, which is 8 to 11, and large, which is 11 to 14. Okay, so those are the three sizes. We have 150 of each color. 30, size small. 70, size medium. And 50, size large, of each color. So that's 300 pairs total. We've got knee sleeves. Um, the, the workout accessories I'm really proud of. I really like the way that they look, and I feel like they'd be an awesome addition to anyone's gym bag. Um, but I didn't get too many of them because I didn't want to, once again, like I mentioned, I didn't want to take big steps before, before crawling, so to speak. So knee sleeves, we have 60 pairs. They're split into three sizes, medium, large, and extra large. We've got 20 of each size. Elbow sleeves, we have 30 pairs. We've got 10 size medium, 10 size large, and 10 size extra large. Wrist wraps is a one size fit all. We have 100 pairs. Lifting straps is another one size fit all product and we have a hundred pairs of those. Lifting gloves, which is the final product, we have 60 pairs, 20 size small, 20 size medium and 20 size large. And just so you guys know, I fit a medium and I have a, I have a relatively big hand. So if you're a girl, I would say go small. 
If you're a guy with a you know average sized hand, I'd say go small or medium. And if you have a really big hand, then I'd say size large. And that is that. So I'll see you in the next one.